from one Dow component to another, Apple, which is pledging to invest more in China. But the world's second largest economy is proving a tough market to crack for the world's most valuable company. Yunus Yun reports tonight from Beijing. Tim Cook has made an unannounced visit to China. The company wasn't forthcoming with the details of his schedule, but he has been active on his Chinese social media account. And by that, we could get a sense of what he's up to. He started his trip by meeting a local fashion designer who said that she sketched on the iPad Pro. He visited a fitness gym to see sports fans incorporating Apple Watches and other devices as part of their exercise regimen. And he went to a model home where app developers demonstrated some of their ideas for the home of the future. Based on those photos, he seems to be promoting Apple's latest products to create more buzz about the products in China. But he also spent the morning with app developers, talking a lot about how excited he was about the iOS 10 system and encouraging them to create more apps for Apple products. This could be key for Apple because there has been concern about the company's relationship with the Chinese government and what that could mean for Apple's future. Regulators had shut down some of Apple's services. But entrenching the company through its popularity of products as well as the apps could could bolster Apple's position here, no matter the relationship with the state. Cook also spoke with some local journalists who asked him questions about sagging sales for the iPhone, as well as the growing competition in China. He acknowledged that the environment here was more competitive, but at the same time, he said that he's looking forward to the fall. And of course, that's when the iPhone 7 is expected to be released. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Eunice Yoon in Beijing.